Okay, where do you suppose we are now? Should probably move a little quicker. So we're definitely on a ship, right? I still don't exactly know where we are, but... Wherever it is, they make tiny little ladders for tiny little people. So I guess we should thank them for that. Oh, is this the outside? We are on a ship. Holy ship. This is a large boat. Maybe it just looks large because we're so small. This is a cool shot. Wow. Look at how tiny we are, guys. those people. I wonder if they're also wearing masks. That guy is. That guy is with the rosy cheeks. Oh, there's a couple of them. They are wearing masks. What are they here for? I'm reminded so much of Inside right now. Sorry I never put a playthrough of that on the channel. It's funny, like, the first thing I mentioned in part one of this series was like, this is like Inside in Limbo. And a lot of people have been like, John, you should play Inside in Limbo. And it's like, I have. That's, that's why I mentioned it. <laughs> okay, but well, let's go. Enough of that. I think it is a, a different game from those, though. Like, it's, it's very, very similar in style, but this has more of a, I'd say more of a stealth element to it. Less of a trial and error sort of uh, puzzle making, too. Oh, there she is. Is she orchestrating the whole thing? She's like overseeing it. Wow. Ooh. Don't get caught. So where are we going? What? <laughs> I guess we're just trying to escape, right? I'm cool with that. So these are the people who the chefs have been preparing for, eh? Great. Somebody likes meat, I guess. He's not even eating it, he's just sucking on it. Do these people have any teeth? Oh, shoot! Shoot, 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 shoot! Shoot! No! No! He caught me! He ate me! Okay. Oh. What a crazy night that was. Look, that's the- that's what was going through her head when she woke up, I think. Shit, 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 go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, he is creepy looking. Crap, he's coming up. Um... Okay, okay, I see what I gotta do. Uh, oh, this is horrible. Good thing you're too short. Oh, she gave up. Oh, 
Oh, oh, gnome guy. Hey. Hey, buddy. Time to give you a hug. I haven't seen one of you in a while. Maybe I've missed a couple. I've definitely missed a couple. There you go. Don't forget how much I care about you, little gnome guy. Aww. I found out that's what they're, they're called gnomes because people in the comments told me. They also told me that the main character's name is Six and she's female. Like it really matters to the story or something. I know, I'm, I'm just kidding. Thank you for all the information. I appreciate it, but some people told me in a very know it all way. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. I don't know. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. I hate this. I freaking hate this. If there's one thing I don't like, it's uh, larger people attempting to eat me. Thankfully, they lose uh, they lose interest quickly. Okay. Oh, oh. Haha, <laughs> don't let go. Okay. I'm gonna wait for it to swing back. Ooh. Thankfully, the noise I make up here doesn't matter. So they love sausages. Is that all they're eating? They were eating other stuff. Right? We saw them eat other stuff. Is there something over here? I've kind of had to sprint through some of this because like, oh, oh, did you see the gnome? Where'd he go? Where'd you go, buddy? Tinfoil hat guy? Hmm. I saw him scurry away. I thought he went that way. Okay, here we go. Don't crawl after me. That's a mistake. Oh, that's a horrible mistake. Okay, thank you. Ha 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 ha. Ah. Uh, I didn't want to stick around. There, there might have been a gnome in there, but I just... Don't fall. Don't fall. Thank you. Gnome, are you around here? You're not very bright, are you? Okay, I see what I gotta do. Okay. Um, don't notice me. Hup. Bye bye! Gnome, if you're here, now would be a great time to show up! I think we lost him. I think I didn't do something I was supposed to do. Oh well. Ooh! Uh There's a there's a Geisha doll up there. I'm supposed to smash it. Don't look under the sink. There's definitely nothing under her uh, except for toilet rolls. Toilet paper, pipes. Yeah, sucker. You did that, by the way. Don't come back in here because of the noise. You did that. That was all you, buddy. You're not my buddy either, so. Just in case you didn't know that. Um. Okay, I gotta smash that geisha doll down with the establishment, am I right? Oh my god. I had no idea. So I can't go back out there? But there was a geisha doll that I completely missed. What? It's hard to collect stuff in these layer levels because it seems like... Like here it seems like I'm constantly running. Okay. 
Here we go, though. Yeah, kick ass. Hopefully that doesn't get me in trouble, though. Maybe I just get on? Oh, okay. I thought I had to flip the switch. Okay. We go in here. Oh. Shh. Shh. There we go. I thought I heard you in here. Now come on, it's not safe to be in here. These dudes like to eat things like us. I wouldn't say people like us, but okay. Uh oh. We're gonna have to run, aren't we? aren't we? Oh, we're gonna have to run. This reminds me of like a Junji Ito manga. Oh my god. Yeah, how about no? How about no? Ooh. Man, I hate to tell you guys this, but you guys are freaking slow. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, you guys aren't making that jump. Sorry to say. Sorry to say, but... Oh no, I'm hungry again. Some people thought it was obvious that she was hungry, not sick. I mean... When you get hungry, do you curl up like that, like you're about to die? She's eating so much. There's so much, like, food focus on this game. Aw, thanks, buddy. I'll take that. What? What? Um. Yeah, you could have eaten this. Did you know that? Did you know that that's what it was offering to you? Man, I don't want you to live anymore. I hope they catch you and eat you. He was like, he was so happy to share his food with you. And then you just eat him? We, well, we've seen... Man, what is the deal? Well, we've seen the... The food get increasingly more barbaric, right? Like, we've seen... Six go from eating... Bread, to... Like, rat food... To... A live rat, to... A gnome! Little, little tinfoil hat dude, I don't like that. Very upsetting. I still know what the geisha dolls do. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing geisha correctly. I've been told it's not geisha, it's geisha before. But now I don't know if I if I've got that like mixed up or what. Great job. Nobody come up on the elevator. Okay, good. If I was going to see the chef again, I was going to lose it. Achievement unlocked. The guest area. Okay, so I guess that chapter's done. I think we're on the last chapter. I was told that there were five chapters. Little, little short, but 
I'll wait till the end to make any judgments. So am I like a little assassin? Is that what I am? Here to assassinate the one in charge of this whole operation? This whole barbaric ship? Is there anything up here? Okay, well it was worth a shot. I figured I would try. Okay, we need a key. What's going on up here? different from any other death we've had. Thankfully we get a second chance. And a third. And a fourth. Okay, we gotta sneak or else she'll hear us. I wanna smash that doll. I wanna smash that doll. What a beautiful song. Yeah, you're great. Next stop, American Idol. This is a place to hide. Key? Key, key, key. I guess we gotta break this vase, huh? It's probably in the vase. Gotta push it off, I bet. Uh, she's not gonna come in here, I'll... Just take it. So... It's really bothering me that she's not coming in here. Hello? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? No idea. Where? Okay. Very weird. Let's go ahead and use this. What's going on in here? Broken mirrors everywhere. Can't she just, like, destroy me? Uh, when she heard me move earlier, she, like... <laughs> she, like, snapped her fingers and I evaporated. So I'm a little confused. Maybe that wasn't her. Maybe that was, like, a spirit or something. What the hell is going on? Maybe she doesn't exist. 
you know? Okay. I was wasting a lot of time over there looking for stuff. But there was nothing. All these broken mirrors. Hmm. Why are all the mirrors broken? This one's not. Oh. Maybe we... Hang on. My mouse cursor appeared again for some reason. We gotta use the mirror on her? Where'd she go? the heck? Oh! Okay, so this is a boss fight. Sorry, I it was a little slow to react there. You gotta look for the spotlights and then show the mirror towards the geisha. I guess she has self-esteem issues. I don't know. Not sure I get it. That would explain all the broken mirrors. She doesn't want to look at herself for whatever reason, so we're forcing her to look at herself. Reminds me of King's Quest 6. Any, any King's Quest fans out there? When you gotta fight the Lord of the Underworld? Anyone? Where you at? Ah Good. Got her. Okay, we gotta find the next one. It's over here. Where you at, girl? Swipe left! Alright. Nobody would ever swipe right on you. Here we go. Three times. We gotta do it again, I I assume. <laughs> One more time ought to do it, right? Maybe? Why is the spotlight moving? I'm hungry. Am I gonna eat her? I'm gonna eat her, aren't I?
That certainly put an exclamation mark on the end of all the meals that we've had this game. The last one was by far the most barbaric. I've got like energy surrounding me now. Achievement unlocked, the ladies' quarters. I hear some gnomes. Are they following me? Hey, she ate one of you. Don't buy it. Wait, maybe they're just saying goodbye. I thought they were going to follow me out. Ah. So that was Little Nightmares. Pretty short. just over two, two and a half hours? Between two and three hours. Now, I did skip quite a few gnomes and lights. And I think I missed some geisha dolls. So I don't know if that changes the ending or not. I don't see how it could, but Maybe they're, may, they might just be collectibles. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, yeah, a little short for the $20 price tag. But, you know, Inside was short too. Limbo was short too. And they were similarly priced from what I remember. Limbo might be quite a bit cheaper, but that was several years ago. And it didn't have the production value that this one has. So, um, enjoyed it. Wouldn't say it was worth all the anticipation, I guess. Just because it was about half the length I think I would have liked. But what was there was really polished, really cool, really fun to play. Um, just an all-around good time. I think it delivered on the creepiness, delivered on like... Uh, stealthing and uh, running from enemies that was pretty entertaining to do that so frequently in a puzzle platformer wasn't used to that because you know I've played a bunch of them like unravel and limbo obviously uh, and a lot of it is really focused on the platforming and puzzles but this one like none of the puzzles were really challenging I think probably you did the most puzzling early on in chapter one and then after that it kind of became more about 
stealth and just exciting sequences where you make a run for it and escape. It was neat. Uh, you know, flip a switch here, get a key here. It was basically, um, like if this was a first person horror game, it would have been really generic, but just because of the style, you know, it basically took things that you find in generic first person hor uh, horror games, like key hunts and go over here and power this thing on and then go here and then get chased by a monster, you know, uh, that sort of thing. It took that, but it applied it to a, a completely new style of presentation, which was neat. It was cool to play. Now, I don't have a whole lot of strong opinions about this game, to be honest. I can't believe we ate that gnome, though. I'm really mad about that. Single most shocking moment of the game. I think it did, it did kind of give me second thoughts about who I should be rooting for in the story. Which, I'm not sure I quite understand the story. From what I understand, we're on a ship, and the ship kidnaps children. Early on, we saw the janitor try to do that to us, and um, turns them into food, and I guess rich kind of bourgeois types come to the ship to eat child meat. And we played as a child who was able to escape from the assembly line, so to speak, get to the person who was running the whole thing, which was uh, the lady, as she's called. And I'm not really sure what her self-image issues had to do with anything. I guess it was just kind of a way to enact the final boss battle, but yeah, and then after that, she basically shuts down the operation, kills a bunch of the rich cannibal people, and leaves the ship and liberates the gnomes, which I'm not real sure what they are, <laughs> to be honest, but that's what I got out of the story. I'm sure there's more to it than that. Um, people have been quoting Little Nightmares wiki information in the comments already, so I'm sure there's tons of info out there but I like just experiencing the game and drawing my conclusion from first-hand evidence and not having to look up extracurricular shit at that point it just becomes unfun for me and it kind of dilutes the art a bit because when you're playing a game you're playing a piece of art and I want to see what the artist aka game dev aka Tarsier Studios uh, intended for me to experience and be able to draw my conclusions from that and not from like wiki information <laughs> Or like little nightmare subreddit. Let's let's talk theories, you know, I don't know. That's just not me I just like experiencing the first hand and Then think about it Draw my own conclusions and then move on to the next game, which is what I'll be doing so Let me know what you guys thought about little nightmares in the comments I know a lot, there's gonna be, I can already tell there's gonna be a lot of comments about the length. Because, for some reason, there, there were complaints about the length of Outlast 2. I saw quite a few of them. I don't understand because that was like a nine hour game. Eh, it's like a lot of people just want every game that comes out, every $20 hunk of junk that comes out to be 50 hours with replayability and free DLC, and multiplayer, and it's like... Sometimes you just get a short, story-based experience. You get, you know, a work of art, like this game. And... I think it should just be judged on what it is. I think the term video game is really broad. I know I'm, like, getting into a lot of rabbit trails here, but... I could just, I already know that there's gonna be a lot of people in the comments that just, are just like, this was shit. I hated it. Maybe if it was 10 hours longer. And like, I'll admit, it is a little short, and I think it would have benefited from additional length. Another couple hours would have been good, but other than the fact that it's a little expensive for the length, I don't have a problem with it. I think everything was really polished, really well done, 
And I didn't experience any bugs or anything. I didn't experience any frustration from dying a lot. I didn't even die that much. It wasn't difficult, but the challenge was just enough to make it feel tense, but not make it feel super easy, in my opinion. And overall, I had a fun time. So those are my thoughts on Little Nightmares, and I keep expecting these credits to end, but they just keep coming. So I'll see you guys in the next video, and hope you enjoy that one as well. Think critically.